kick off by welcoming a brand new name to the channel, and one that's really burst into the spotlight these last year or two, Salford's very own Pomona Island. Formed back in 2017 and named after what was once a thriving hub of leisure for the Victorian Manchunian, boasting stunning gardens and amusements and apparently the awesome Pomona Island Palace, which at its construction and opening was the largest concert hall in the country. But in 1887, the entire area was rendered completely useless after a massive explosion at a nearby chemical factory. And although some 85 years later, the area would see a whole new lease of life, serving as something of a Docklands for the Manchester shipping canals. But by the 1970s, it would be rendered a wasteland once more, as those shipping canals soon died away. And by the mid-70s, the only sign of life in the area was Manchester's first and only nightclub on a boat. So from one dystopian landscape, we segue nicely to today's brew as we take a little swig from a dystopian future. I'd buy that for a dollar. In fact, if it was only a dollar, I'd have bought hundreds of them. But alas, if my previous Pomona brews are anything to go by, this will be worth every penny I paid for it. Of course, taking its name from the unforgettable line in the classic 80s sci-fi film, Robocop. This double dry hopped IPA hopefully won't taste like baby food, nor will it be giving us any trouble. But it will hopefully fix me, as beer can fix everything. Okay, okay, I'll leave the quote upon for another time. Hopped with everyone's favourite, the Strata. This cannabis-like hop is definitely at odds with the Robocop theme. It sure would have been a different movie indeed if Murphy was on the cush. But those big tropical juicy notes should hopefully keep us on the right side of the law. But let's find out. Dead or alive, let's get pouring. So there's a huge kick of pineapple right up top. And there's a little orangey citrus spike in there too. And it does have this fluffy, almost creamy aroma to it. It is just overly juicy. So it is surprisingly soft up top. I was expecting a full-on juice avalanche. And it has an almost spice, an almost herbal quality to it. If anything, it's those citrus notes that are really packing out the middles before a real bitter tail develops. Yeah, those middles, they've got a real orangey and limey note to them, which help pave the way for a real zesty grapefruit bitterness in that tail. And there is just an ever so subtle dankness hidden away in those middles too, with a real noticeable oily resinous note to it, which actually coats and lingers long in the mouth. And there is an almost wheaty, wet, grassy note developing in there now too. And now we're down into the final third. I definitely had expected something a little on the juicier side. But it is in fact far more greener than that. With subtle, grassy, dank and piney resinous notes. Really packing out the brew. And although it has a real sweetness to the nose, it is just full-on bitter in the mouth. And as things wear on, it only gets greener and bitter. 
glitter. But I tell you what, it is another that really conjures up bright images in the mind. Big grassy fields just after a heavy summer storm. It's fresh, and those grassy notes there just flying around everywhere. And you guys know just how much I like a brew to tell me a story or take me on an adventure. And this one is certainly doing that. I'd go as far as to say it might even be a perfect summer brew. If, say, you spend your summers working hard in the field. I can see a cowboy or something kicking back with one of these after a long day of herding or breaking in wild horses. And if I were to liken it to any fictional world, it probably wouldn't be Robocop. No, if anything, I'm picturing a Cormac McCarthy or even Stephen King and his young Roland getting mixed up with that wicked witch out in the hills. And I won't lie, straight off, I was a little unsure as I was expecting a big New England juice bomb. But I tell you what, kicking back with one of these, it has been some adventure. And much like Robocop, Pomona Island themselves will have a few sequels coming up on the channel.